in today's tutorial on electrical measurement we will talk about kelvin double bridge the topics of discussion are resistance measurement classification kelvin double bridge piston bridge modification working of kelvin double bridge and pros cons and applications of kelvin double bridge the entire set of resistance is categorized as following high resistance medium resistance and low resistance the resistance that is above the value of 0.1 mega ohm is categorized as high resistance mega is one setup to measure this range of resistance the resistance that is between 1 ohm and 0.1 mega ohm is termed as medium resistance piston bridge and ohm meter are two setups to measure the medium resistance and finally the low resistance under this category the resistance value is less than 1 ohm Kelvin double bridge is one setup to measure this value of resistances. Huston bridge measures the resistance greater than or equal to 1 ohm by balancing the circuit. Kelvin double bridge is modified form of Huston bridge only, which is used to measure lower resistance values in the range of 1 to 10 micro ohm or 0.0001 ohm. While measuring low resistance values using Huston bridge, the contact and lead resistances cause significant error in reading and hence in order to overcome this error Kelvin double bridge is used. There is no effect of load and contact resistance in the Kelvin bridge since the bridge is independent of load and contact resistance. Kelvin double bridge provides an accuracy of plus minus 0.05% to plus minus 0.02%. For resistance values below 1 ohm, a low value of unknown resistance, two precision resistors and a high current ammeter are shunted together to form a four terminal setup. This four terminal setup is known as the Kelvin double bridge. It uses another set of ratio arms and a galvanometer to measure the unknown resistance values. Here we see the initial setup of a Kelvin double bridge. For resistance values below 1 ohm, a lower value of the unknown resistor, two precision resistors and a high current ammeter are shunted together to form the fourth terminal setup. This fourth terminal setup is known as Kelvin double bridge. It uses another set of ratio arms and a galvanometer to measure the unknown resistance value as shown in the figure. The MN portion with the D pointer marks the extra arm here. The R is the resistance of the contacts that connect the unknown resistance R to the standard resistance S. The M and N show the range between which the galvanometer is connected for obtaining the null point. The intermediate point small d divides the R into two components R1 and R2. The R1 component causes no error in the resistance measurement and R1 and R2 are related by the expression R1 by R2 is equal to P by Q. By adjustment of the Huston bridge, we get the expression small R1 by small R2 is equal to P by Q. The balancing bridge equation gives capital R plus small R1 equal to P by Q into within bracket capital S plus small R2. Thus, on evaluating we get small r1 by small r1 plus small r2 is equal to p by p plus q. As we know that small r is nothing but summation of r1 plus r2, thus r1 is equal to p by p plus q whole into small r and r2 similarly is given as q by p plus q whole into small r. Substituting for this value of small r and small r2, we get r plus p by p plus q into small r equal to p by q whole into s plus q by p plus q into small r. Simplifying for equation 3, we get the final expression capital R is equal to p by q into s. Here, we see three schematic representation of a standard piston bridge. 
a simply modified Kelvin double bridge and a industry grade Kelvin double bridge. For a Houston bridge and for a Kelvin bridge, the balance equation looks like Rx equal to R2 by R1 into R3 and R by P by Q into S respectively. The Houston bridge and the Kelvin bridge as seen in these pictures show that they only differ by the addition of an extra set of arms marked as Mn in the simple version and marked as small p small q in the modified version. The modification of the Houston bridge to convert into a Kelvin double bridge is that it consists of two extra arms p and q along with small p and small q. The arms p and q that is first arm ratio and small p small q second arm ratio are connected to the two ends of the galvanometer at points B and D respectively. The ratio arms are such arranged that capital P by capital Q is equal to small p by small q. This arrangement minimizes the effect of connecting leads. The unknown resistor capital R and the standard resistor capital S are already in the circuit. The potential difference between the points small a and small b that is E A B is equivalent to the potential difference between the points A, M and D that is E A M D under balance condition. Thus E A B is equal to P by P plus Q into E A C and again E A C is equal to I whole into R plus S plus P plus Q whole into R by P plus Q plus R as denoted in equation 2. EMD is given as I equal I into whole R plus P by P plus Q into P plus Q into R by P plus Q plus R which translates to EAMD is equal to I into R plus PR by P plus Q plus R as shown in equation 3. As EAB is equal to EAMD under balance condition, therefore P by P plus Q whole into I into R plus S plus P plus Q into R by P plus QP plus R is equal to I into R plus PR by P plus Q plus R. Solving for equation 4, we get R equal to P by Q into S plus QR by P plus Q plus R whole into capital P by capital Q minus small p by small q. Since capital B by capital Q is equal to small p by small q, therefore we get capital R equal to capital P by capital Q into S. The advantages that are offered by the Kelvin double bridge are it can measure resistance value in the range of 0.1 micro ohm to 1 ohm. It requires very low power. It is simple in construction and offers very high sensitivity. The disadvantages of Kelvin double bridge are for knowing whether the bridge is balanced or not, a sensitive galvanometer is used. To obtain good sensitivity of the device, a high current is required and manual adjustments are to be made periodically when required. The Kelvin double bridge is typically used for measurement of very low unknown resistance values in the range of 0.1 micro ohm to 1 ohm. For additional reading, the viewers can refer to the following links. Thank you.